All right, good morning. Um, excited to start preparation uh, for Cincinnati. Uh, excited about um, getting the season kicked off. Excited about the team. Um, you know, I feel like we've got a chance to uh, be a good football team, and uh, you know, now we got to go out and prove it. So, questions? And like with the extra time here leading up to the regular season after the preseason finale, did you spend any extra time on the Bengals and just preparation, or do you start? Um, we did a little bit, not much. I mean, most of, most of it will start tomorrow when, when the players day off. What did what did you see from Joe Burrow last year, and what's your kind of expectation of him coming off the injury? Um, you know, it looks like he he's got a good arm. He reads reads things quickly. Um, typically gets the ball out in the right place. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of shotgun, a lot of. Uh, no back formations, um, you know, some condensed formations. So, <clears throat> um, yeah, he, he's a good player. What attracted you to, uh, to the new puncher? Um, you know, he's he's got a big leg. He's done it for a while. Um, so, you know, just trying to get a little bit more hang time and distance. Why didn't it work out with uh, Britain, Colquitt? Uh, it wasn't really that. It was just we thought we had an opportunity to <clears throat> um, – you know, get a guy with a little bit bigger leg. <clears throat> Mike, where's Anthony Barr at uh, as far as him coming back to practice? Do you anticipate it'll be this week? Yeah, I don't know. We'll see uh, See more Wednesday. Mike, where, where do you think your offensive line is in its development? And do you, do you think it's a work in progress this season? Um, I don't necessarily think it's a work in progress. I think, uh, I think there's some unknowns there. Um, you know, Udo playing guard. Uh, you know, Cleveland's, Cleveland played there all last year, Bradbury. Um, you know, Rashad's – I actually watched um, – what game was I was watching? Anyway, Rashad's played a lot lot at left tackle – you know, tackle in the past. So, um, you know, I, I think it's a little bit unknown, but um, I don't think it's it's a major concern. We'll just – you know, we'll have to find out. they got some good rushers. Back and watch Rashad at left tackle in previous games, or what were you talking about? I was just watching a game, you know, I click through games and stuff like that, and I saw him in there a fair amount. You didn't use obviously a lot of your top uh, skill position players on offense in the preseason. Do you think that they'll they'll just get in, they'll be like snapping the fingers and they'll be ready, or is there going to be a little bit of maybe acclimation period yeah. and adjustment period when they do? Well, I think you know, partly you know, Thielen was hurt and Jefferson was hurt, so. Um, you know, Cook wasn't hurt, but we just, you know, we've kept running backs out in the preseason before. Um, you know, they've done a really good job in practice, so um, I don't see that being a, a big detriment. Hey Mike, do you guys have a date yet for Christian Derrissaw in terms of pract in terms of practicing when he might be able to return? Yeah, good question. Uh, I know that uh, Wednesday he's going to try and work into some individual stuff and start moving from there, and we'll just have to see how he how he progresses. Uh, with Rashad, you know, he got a chance to start in 2018 at uh, right tackle. How do you think he's different or improved since then? Um, well, I think he's he's got a better understanding of, you know, Rashad has always been a pretty good pass blocker. I know he got beat on the one sack in the preseason, but it, it was a jump set, you know, on a play action. So, um, you know, sometimes that happens. But, um, you know, typically he's a pretty good pass protector. I think where he's improved is in the run game. Um, you know, trying to get guys cut off on the back side and guys reached on the front side. Like how difficult do you think it'll be for Christian, you know, once he does get practicing, that road ahead for rookies who miss the entire preseason? Yeah, it's a, it's a good question as far as, you know, where he's at. I mean, you know, I think he's practiced four times since he's been here. So, <clears throat> you know, it's, um, you know, so it's an unknown. Now that you're in that time of year where a lot of the practice time is trying to get guys ready to play on Sunday, how do you kind of balance that out when he is able to get back, trying to get him reps while he's working his way back and maybe not in the first string right away? Yeah. Um, well, I think the biggest thing is you watch him in practice and then you start seeing him and you start seeing him develop and, and not making mistakes because, you know, some of those things are going to show up early, especially when, um, you know, you haven't practiced in a while. So, you know, is it the right footwork? Um, is it, um, excuse me, um, right footwork? Um, you know, if, if he's making mistakes, you know, how's he pass pass protecting? Uh, it's just going to be an 
evaluation each week, and then you know when we decide to put him in there, then we do. But or if we do, what do you need to see out of him to show you that he's ready to like supplant Rashad or is it Rashad? Well, I got to see him practice first. So that would be the first step: practice, and then you know as we move forward. I mean, I don't know. You know, he's he's not in terrific football shape because he hasn't practiced. So you know, you got to see that too. And then you got to see if he's he's making mistakes and if he's doing the things correctly with, you know, so much with the offensive line is so much about <clears throat> footwork and working together and getting off the ball at the same time and you know, um, you know, combination blocks. So you know, there's a lot of things that we have not seen him do. In terms of the offense struggling in the preseason, do you look at that as just pretty much a product of some of the top guys not playing, or do you have some concerns? Yeah, well, we didn't play that much, so. Um, you know, when they did play. Um, I don't know. We'll just have to see. How about uh, Herndon? How is he working his way back in? And how do you feel about him? Well, I haven't seen him practice yet either. So okay. <laughs> we'll just have to, <clears throat> you know, evaluate as we go. How excited are you, Mike, to see Daniel Hunter back out there? Very. Yeah, I'm excited about uh, um, where he's at, his mindset. Uh, you know, when you watch him do things that uh, most uh, – you know, a lot of guys in this league can't do. So we're, we're hoping that uh, he has a big year. Um, he's a great kid. Uh, you know, we're excited about him. Does the state of your defensive line right Excuse now, me? does the state of your defensive line, and just like all the, all the investment you made into that group this year to have four new starters across the board, is that one of the things that gets you most excited about that the entire defense this year with the pass rush, all that? Not necessarily. I think uh, – you know, I, I feel good about the linebackers. I think Vigil's done a really nice job. Um, you know, Xavier Woods has done a nice job. Um, Peterson and I know Breland got beat on the one one play, but um, you know, I feel good about the entire group. So, <clears throat> you know, it's like everything else. We got to go out and play and do it. Um, but uh, you know, as you said, those those we got four new starters on the off, on the defensive line from a year ago, and the guys that. That they replaced are back up somewhere else. Like, how much does an improved defense help the offense? I think the offense last year was 32nd in average field position. Like, how do, how do those two impact each other? Well, that's a lot of special teams too. But you know, we didn't. We hardly had any three and outs last year. Um, you know, we didn't get very many sacks, so we didn't put teams in bad situations. We gave up too many big plays. <clears throat> I mean, all those things are. You know, when you talk about complementary football, that's that's a lot of lot of those. You know, and um, you know, the offense had a lot of good stats, but part of it was because they had to. Um, so hopefully that we can um, continue with those kind of things offensively and uh, play a lot better on, on defense and special teams. Coach, you obviously talk about the excitement for week one um, with, you know, training camp gets long and, and preseason, you know, kind of that whole period gets long. Do you notice just kind of an uptick um, in energy mentally and maybe physically with the team when it starts to count here? Yeah, I think I think a little bit guys, you know, guys understand now that we're <clears throat> that we're going for for real and you know, a lot of times it's hard when you don't have a, the team set. You know, there's still a lot of unknowns of who's going to be on the team and things like that. So once you <clears throat> once you settle down and start doing that, then you can start focusing on on your opponent um, more so than you know, this guy's covering Thielen or something like that. So um, <clears throat> it, it should be um, a good good test for us, you know, on the road the first two weeks. Um, you know, Cincinnati should have a good crowd. I was actually there the other day, and, you know, there's a lot of, you know, hype about about them and, and Burrow being back. So it should be good. It's your first regular season game back there. I know it's been a while, but will that stir any memories at all for you at all, or anything? No, I just I got about 26 tickets so far. I think that I'm buying, but other than that, um, <clears throat> no, not really. We just need to go out and win, go out and play good. When you're defending against uh, an impressive group of skill position players like the Bengals have, how do you balance uh, keeping more players back in coverage versus sending um, you know extra blitzers to try and cut them off? Yeah, it's it's, it's a feel, really. It's a feel trying to. Um, you know, if, if you feel good about your matchups, you know, you can bring a little bit more pressure. If you feel good about your rushers, rushers, you know, you can sit back a little bit. So, you know, as you get going into the game plan of the week, you just try to figure out, um, you know, what's the best way to defend this, this particular group of guys. You know, Mixon's a good running back, and, um, you know, they do a nice job with, with the receivers. So, um, 
you know, it's. It, I think it's just a mixture of how how it's going, and then during the game, how's it going? You know, I mean, that happens a lot. Are there any signs left that you see with the Bengals defense about how they do things the way that you guys used to? Not, not too much, really. Uh, I've watched a little bit of their defense. Um, you know, they're a little bit different configuration now. I think they're a little bit more of a three three down front. Um, Playing some more under, a couple stand-up guys, and then, um, <clears throat> you know, I'm trying to think of guys that I don't think any of the guys were there when I was there, but, um, you know, they've added Hendrickson and, uh, you know, the defensive end from Ohio State that I really liked. Um, you know, they've added a couple big guys inside, so they've they've made some adjustments to their defense as well. Time for two more. Like, how much... Uh, Feedback do you give Clint when it comes to what you see from opposing defenses, knowing defense as well? How does that dynamic work with Clint? Yeah, I talked to him a little bit this morning about some of the things, you know. Um, you know, just in general, it's it's more about, you know, how, how are you thinking about playing these guys? You know, how, how are we going to attack, attack them? Um, and then I talked to him about, Okay, well, if they're doing this, these are kind of things that kind of hurt you, um, hurt us, you know, or hurt defenses. Um, and just kind of a mixture that way. But, you know, at the end of the day, um, you know, I think it's important that we we're, we are who we are, you know, all the time. Whether it's offense, defense, or special teams, you got you got to be who you are and then make little adjustments to um, the things that, that you can do well. Because if you can't do them well, then it's, you know, not that not that good. But... You know, I've seen enough over the course of 30-some years or whatever it is that, um, you know, I, I kind of know what hurts certain coverages and certain fronts and things like that. Can you uh, kind of put yourself in Clint's shoes going back to the first time you called a regular season NFL game? Um, yeah, I think I gave up 200 yards rushing that day. <laughs> the onside kick. That's the first. I, if, if it's a game I'm thinking of, I remember the bad days a lot. But uh, I think uh, the onside kick. That's the first kickoff, and then uh, it was pretty ugly after that, if, if I remember right. So, but luckily we've persevered. <laughs> Have a good day.